Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I have a super, super fun um, share for you. So this is going to be the sneak peek for um, Erica at Scrap Diva Designs November release. And oh my gosh, guys, get excited because it is a really, really good one. Um, Christmas crafting is my very favorite. I should just start crafting in July because and just never stop because it is absolutely my favorite. I run out of time every single year to create all the things that I want to do. So anyway, um, yes, so let's get into it. So first up um, here, we have the Christmas words um, one, two, and three. So I'm assuming, just like always, Erica will have these individually, and then she will also have them as a bundle. Let's see if I can make out a few of these words. So let's see here. I am not good at reading them backwards. I know this one says peppermint, December, Santa, candles, candy. Um, that's a couple of them there. Um, I don't know what these ones say. You know what? I will get these cut out right away. And in my next video up, I will have them all cut out for you. And I will show you them all put together and done. Because I like to actually get started with these types of things first. So that is her Christmas words one, two, and three. The next one is this. And oh my goodness, you guys, this is adorable. This is an elf bow. So as you can see, there are three different sizes. So we have small, medium, and large. And you've got your bow. And then you've got all your layering pieces to create the elf design. This is another one. Um, in my next video up, I will definitely have some of these put together to be able to show you what they look like. Um, I'm definitely planning to cut some of mine out of felt because I think they would be really, really cute done with felt and then some pom-poms and bows and I mean, uh, pom-poms, maybe jingle bells. They might be too heavy, not sure. So very exciting. Those are the elf bows. Um, this is the Slimline House add-on roof set. So if you already have her Slimline House die, this is a Christmas add-on. I don't actually have that die, but I will still use this die. I will just have to make like a rectangle and I'll figure it out on my own. But um, so look how cute this guy is. This, this is adorable, this die. So you've got a snow layer here, followed by a stitched snow layer that I, looks to me like it fits on top. You've got a tree, you've got a smaller tree, you've got, um, it looks like probably some snow caps maybe to go on the chimney. Maybe the original one has a chimney. Um, and then looks like we have some swirls to make peppermint candies. We've got some candy canes. We have a cute little gingerbread. Absolutely adorable. Can't wait to work with this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, this one here is the Elf Shoe Mini Album. Oh my God, look at it. It is so cute. So you've got the Elf um, Shoe right here and it's got three layers like always. It seems it's a lot of, most of her mini album dies have three layers. You've got your little um, layering piece right here for the cuff and then you've got all these adorable little jingle bells and you've also got the piece to make the mini album. So absolutely adorable, can't wait to use that. This one is called the A2 Card Front Shadow Frame. So this is going to allow you to make a box. You can see you've got your little tabs here with an open a cut opening that will give you a depth on the front of a card so you can create a shadow box. This is incredible. I cannot wait. This is fantastic. This is very exciting. Can't wait to use that. Um, this one here, oh my goodness, this is so exciting. This is Mr. Nutcracker Cake. So this is a nutcracker. You can see he has all of his layering pieces for his face and then the top of him is cake. So there are lots of pieces here to like decorating pieces to go on your cake layers. This is going to be absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to use this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe a box, a bag, I don't know, mini album banner. There are so many things you could do, but this is really exciting. Okay, so going with the Nutcracker theme, we have a Nutcracker die. So this one's just called Nutcracker. And again, we have all these fantastic layering pieces. This looks like there's even more this time. Um, so we've got these two layering pieces here, and then we've got these two here. Um, I'm not sure if one of them is smaller. I'll find out soon. And then you've got all your layering pieces to do um, your nutcracker. And what I love about this is a lot of times people have nutcrackers, but they don't have like a base piece. This one, you have your base. So you're able to build up from the top. So you've got all your pieces that will easily layer on top and make a fantastic nutcracker. So very excited about that. This one here is called 
the Memory Dex Gingerbread Shaker. So let's just start on the back. So you can see we have this adorable gingerbread Memory Dex Shaker, adorable. So you've got this and then you've got your layering piece here that will allow you to make your shaker. And then um, you've got your circles. You could also just make um, an ornament shaker, um, not a Memory Dex, because it looks to me like the circle will lay on top of one of these circles. And then you actually have two different um, types of projects that you can make with this one. And then this one says sugar, sugar and spice. So you've got another layering and then you've got all your layering pieces here for your gingerbread in the back. You've got an extra hanging um, piece right here that will layer on top. This is absolutely adorable. And look at that cute gingerbread. How cute is that? This is gonna be super fun. So that's that one. Next, we have another gingerbread. I love gingerbread, so this is really exciting. This one is the gingerbread garland. So as you can see, you've got this really cute gingerbread guy right here, and it measures, it's about four and three eighths by about three and three quarters wide. Um, and it's got all these different layering pieces. So you, um, this is obviously a piece that you could use to connect your gingerbread hand to hand. Um, you could even use breads to connect them. You could use anything, but, um, or you wouldn't have to use this and you could just string it up with string. But you've got obviously some hair for a girl, a boy. You've got two different faces here. You've got a dress, layering pieces for your dress. You've got a scarf. Um, this is gonna be absolutely adorable. Pieces for your icing. Super, super cute. Can't wait to work with that. And then, okay, so this one is very exciting. This one is the 3D mini claw machine. So I'm assuming based on these pieces that this is pretty big when it's put together. I've seen a, um, a picture of it, Erica shared. Um, so it makes a 3D claw box. Absolutely adorable. Look, there's even, we got little pieces for money here. Um, this is probably a decorative element. These are the side pieces. This is a very large die set. This looks like this is the lid. Um, this is just another component piece. You got some little pin flags here. Um, this is probably the string to be able to put like little uh, flags together. You've got the claw part right here. This is probably, um, I believe, that goes on the top of the box. And then actually there is more dies on the inside. So it, it is a very large die. Well, um, I can't really... I can get to them. Okay, so you've got these two here, but then you also have all of these in here as well. So it is a very, very large die set. So you've got basically all the components to make, and you can see you've got layering pieces and everything. Absolutely adorable. I'm not sure what this is, but I'll figure it out. So you've got more words here. And then you've got more of your pieces to layer over here. So this is a very, very large die set. This is definitely one I love um, dimensional projects. So I'm really excited about this and I cannot wait to make it. I'm definitely gonna be doing it Christmas themed. Okay, so the next one we have here is the Elf mini album. So um, as you can see, you've got this um, base piece that looks like an elf. And then you've got your layering piece here that you can add onto your cuff. And then this is probably not sure what oh it's a band to go for the um the little belt buckle there and this die let's see from widest part to widest part is about five inches wide and it is about just under six inches tall so it is a really big album this is really cute so you'll be able to put your belt across the middle and then you have your band on the top absolutely adorable very excited to use this i'll probably make this into a bag absolutely love this Okay, the next one up is the mini bottle tag. No, mini bottle pocket tag. Okay, so you got your base piece here that um, obviously it goes onto like a bottle. You could do it for any purpose, but it, you know, is intended to go onto a bottle. And then you've got all your layering pieces here. And then you've got another layering piece here. And then you've got your pocket that you could put onto I think, well, it could be the front or the back. I don't think it would matter, but you've got a little pocket to go onto it. So really, really fun. This will be a lot of fun to work with. I really like the scallop design on that. And last but not least, we have the branch, branches and ornament wreath set. So it looks to me like you have these really beautiful detailed 
um, circular wreaths that you'll be able to lay on top of each other and then get a full circle of wreath and then you've got all your additional layering pieces that you can put in and then you can probably top it with this um, or put it behind. Um, this is going to be really fun to create with. Um, I'm excited to get this cut out. This is, I think, is going to be really beautiful. But anyway, that is the last die. So very, very exciting, very big release. Um, I will have some projects um, very shortly, putting together at least some of the words and be expecting to see the words and the bows first. That way you can kind of see how they are. And then lots of other fun projects throughout the month of November. So as always, all of these will be, they should be available on November the 1st. I'll have all the links for individual products linked below. She always does have a bundle as well. So if you want to pick up a bundle and don't forget to use your code Amy10 for 10% off your order. Um, I don't think that the 10%, I think um, bundles are excluded from that 10%, just so you know, um, because they're already discounted. Um, and anyway, um, so that is the fantastic release for the month of November. I want to thank you guys for stopping by today and spending some time with me and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.